seeing my screen? Yes, Mata Ji, everything is perfect. Yeah. Yup. So let's offer prayers to our spiritual masters. Om very enthusiastic thank you so much so we by the mercy of the lord we were able to cover the verses so far and let's go to today's verse directly the very famous verse very beautiful verse so let's recite yeah who knows uh just wait for uh, first one or two times i can say so that who doesn't know they can know then we can uh, recite the verse mataji can i rehearse the verse sorry mataji can i say the verse yeah but first let me teach because there are some people who may not know the verse so i will first teach one or two times then you can say okay okay mataji अनन्याश्चिंत यंतो माम अनन्याश्चिंत यंतो माम ये जना परियुपासते ये जना परियुपासते ये आम नित्याभियुक्तानाम ये साम नित्याभियुक्तानाम योग अनन्याश्चिंत यंतो मनापरुपते ओके ओके उज्जवल अनन्याश्चिंत तो माम ये जन परुपासते वंडरफुल योगक्षेम वहाम्यहम अनन्याश्चिंत 
तेषा नित्या भी उक्ता नाम योग क्षेम वहाम्यहम वेरी गुड प्रहलाद साई वेद योगाक्षेमावहाम्यहम् जी श्लोकास Thank you, Bala Brinda. Such a nice inspiration. Mata Ji, can I say? Yeah. Who's this? Ame? Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Ananyas jinte yo jinte yanto mam ye jana pariu pasite te sham nitta yukta nam yogakshe mam vaham yaham. Wonderful. So this is such a nice verse of Bhag Bhagavad Gita. Who else wants to say? Okay, so the rest can say at the end. Uh, it's one of the very. It shows Krishna's heart. Let's. Uh, I think I. Okay. So what does the translation say here? I'm going to ask randomly. Not the meaning of the sanskrit and uh, yeah i will ask you the name also you can say okay let me open your list aham uh, i i i i i okay abhyukta naam fixed in devotion fixed in devotion thank you tesham of them of them yeah, of them, of them. Pariyupasate. Probably worship. Probably worship. Be worship. Okay. Uh, carry. Vahami. 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 Concentrating. Chinta yanta. Chinta yanta. Having no other object. Ananya. Ananya. Okay. Uh, requirements. Yoga. 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 Protection. Shemam. Shemam. Very good. So the Lord says, uh, Siddharth, can you read the translation? Yes, Mataji. But those who always worship me with exclusive devotion, meditating on my transcendental form, to them I carry what they lack and I preserve what they have. Okay. So who's speaking this verse, Siddharth? Um, I think it's um, yeah, it's Krishna saying this, like I'm um, saying that, like by by those who worship me, like um, like who meditate on me, like I will, like I will preserve or like um, not destroy what like 
not take away or not let anything be taken away from the devotee. And take away things that are bad from them. Okay, very good. Okay, so Krishna is take, talking this verse. And Krishna is saying uh, what he will do. Two things he's saying he will do. What is that? Uh, let me ask uh, Varun. What is Krishna saying that he will do, Varun? Saying that um, wh whoever worships him will... Um, oh, no, uh, I only him. asked what Krishna says he would do. Yeah, he would bring, he would bring um, all of those people back to God. Is that what he says in this shloka? From the translation. So those who worship him will obviously go back to Krishna. Yeah, that's true. What you say is true. But I want to know the two things that no, Krishna no. says he would do from this translation. Read this translation and say. Yeah, he would preserve what they have. Very good. He would, he would carry what they lack. Wonderful, Varun. Very good. So my next question is to Ujjwal. Well, who does they denote here? Um, Mataji, can you please say that again? Okay, everyone else mute, okay? Except for whom I'm calling. Because there is echo. Yeah, there is echo. So he says that he carries what they lack and he preserves yeah, what I know. they have. So yeah. who is that they is denoting? Who are those they? Um, it's the all of the devotees. Very who good. Who meditate on him and worship him. Okay, so very nice. He medi who meditates on him and who worships him. Okay, Krishna yeah, okay. Chaitanya. My next question is to you. So he mm -hmm. says something. He adds that something. He he didn't say who just meditates on me and worship me, but he worship me like this. Meditate on this. What are those two things? He he who he needs to worship with exclusive devotion. And meditate on my transcendental form. Very good. Okay, so that's wonderful answer. Okay, and Prahalad, what? Um, one more thing he says. He is saying that for some for people who worships him with exclusive devotion, and meditating on his transcendental form, sometimes he would do this. Um. Oh um, no! So how? What is that? They he have doesn't. Watch. He'll do it all the time. Just the only thing is that he wants them to worship him. Worship him when? Morning, afternoon, evening. Only on Sundays and Mondays. When? Any time. Anytime. Can you find the verse from the translation? What, uh, how, uh, what, um, what the evidence from the translation which says that anytime? Always. Always. Yes, Shreya. Very good. So we learned so many things from this translation. First thing is Krishna would carry what they lack and he would preserve what they have. Who are those they? They are those devotees who worships him and meditates on him. And worship with what? Worship with exclusive devotion. And meditating on what? Meditating on his transcendental form. And when they would do that, they would always. So he says that a person who, those who always worship him with exclusive devotion, meditating on his transcendental form, to them he carries what they lack. And he preserves what they have. This is his promise. Very good. Okay, so let's go. Let's go to what we learned. So Krishna reveals this uh, secret. What is the heading of this chapter? The, most, chapter confidential yeah, the, chapter? the most confidential knowledge. He is revealing this most confidential knowledge to Arjuna because. 
He is not. He was non envious because he was not envious. So in order for us to understand Krishna, what Krishna says, what we should be non envious. That's very important. Not not non envious. Of not only Krishna, whatever is connected to Krishna, Krishna's devotees, Krishna's paraphernalia, everything. So, yeah. So, okay. Uh, yeah. So, what? Anybody remembers the verse in this connection? That Krishna, everything rests on the Lord. Uh, Mataji? Mm -hmm. Mataji? Yes, was, it, um, was it 9.4 Maya Tatta Midam Sarvam? Yes, can you recite that? Yes, Mataji. Maya Tatta Midam Sarvam Jagata Vyakta Murtina Matsani Sarva Bhutani Nachaham Teshva Stita. Very good. Very easily. You can see the mech mightiness of the Lord. He is not carrying the uh, uh, world like what Atlas is carrying with great effort. No, he is very, uh, you know, effortlessly he is, uh, everything is resting on him. He is managing everything. Even though he is managing everything, he is the supreme controller. Still Krishna is aloof. He is not directly involved in this. Then what is directly involved? If Krishna is not involved directly, what is directly involved in controlling of this universe? Material nature. Material nature. What is the relationship of material nature with Krishna? He instructs the material nature what to do and he but he's still aloof from everything. Very nice. He instructs the material nature what to do. But he is aloof from everything and material nature uh, conducts this. Very, very good. Okay, so let's go further. So the Supreme Lord is not a common man. How do you prove that? Uh, Krishna, he lifted the whole Govardhan hill only on his pinky. Very, very nice. Okay. He kills many demons. Very nice. He stood on Kaliya's hoods. Yes, and so many millions of pastimes, like you're saying, which ultimately proves that he's a supreme creator. He's a supreme controller. He has wonderful pastimes and it's scriptural evidence. He is not like a common man. He's what is this shloka? Man. He's not a common Mother man. Is a 9.7? Yes, what is that? Um, Prakriti Kriya Manani Gune Karmani. No, no, not that. Mataji said um, 9.11. Avajananti. Avajananti mamudha manushim tanumashitam parambhava majananta mamabhuta maheshwara. Very good. See how he is telling that I am not an ordinary person. Uh, I, am an, I am the supreme person. But... I'm still your friend. That's what he's saying. Because his friend only is telling all this. And if we become the friend of Krishna, and if we 100% surrender to Krishna, a person who's 100% surrendered to Krishna, what can he be called as? Mahatma. 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 And Mahatma is under the control of material nature. Say true or false? False. True. Uh, false. False. Uh, false. 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 Okay. Yes, divine nature. Who is hundred percent engaged in the service of the Lord? Okay. Do you know this um, shloka? Yes. Nine point thirteen. Okay. Anirudh, can you say? Mahatma nastu mamparta daivim prakriti mahashita bhajantya nanya manaso nyatva bhuta dima vyayam. Very very good. Okay. So we learned all this. And then we learned what, what is how to do devotional service. The nine processes, you all learned about it. And uh, you also learned about the, pro there are many people, who, many devotees who did these nine processes. But one example in each category, we learned 
So who is the example of Atma Nivedanam? Bali Maharaj. Very good. Who is the example? Who did Dasyam? Hanuman. Hanuman. Who did Padasevanam? Lakshmi Devi. Lakshmi Devi. Who did Vandanam? Akrura. Akrura. Akrura Maharaj. Akrura, yeah, mainly, yeah, Dhruva Maharaj. And who did Smaranam? Prahalad. Prahalad. Yes, we learned, we learned about all this in the ninth process. I see, that's why when you chant, you hear, you remember, you do the Kirtanam, all the three is involved in chanting. And Pada Sevanam, when you offer flowers to the Lord, when you go around Tulasi, all this come under Pada Sevanam. And when you worship the Lord with all the paraphernalia mm. offered to Him, then when we recite prayers like how uh, Anjana Gopika Mataji is teaching Kunti's prayers, why? So we know the meaning and we recite those prayers offered by the great personalities. Then we are doing Vandanam. When we are becoming the servant of the Lord and following His instructions, then uh, we are doing Dasyam, Sakyam and Atma Nivedanam. Consider uh, the your best friend. Yeah, so we consider Krishna. Krishna is always our best friend, but we start realizing that Krishna is our best friend and reciprocate with him accordingly. Very nice. So this verse talks about the auspiciousness of devotional service. When you do such devotional service, it is full of auspiciousness. What do you mean by auspicious? Wonderful. Yeah. All impure. All, all impure stuff will go away out of your transcendental. Um, yeah. Very good, Anshu. Yeah. So there is nothing Ma or nothing, uh, nothing that is contaminating there. It's fully auspicious and full of what potencies? Spiritual potencies. Spiritual. spiritual potencies. So because these activities are full of auspiciousness and full of spiritual potencies, what does it make a devotee? Perfect in self-realization. Oh, very, very good. So when do we become perfect in self-realization? Um, when we achieve a association when we achieve, achieve associate of reality of God. No, when we achieve the association of the Supreme Personality of God, that is the goal. But when we are on the process itself, uh, we are perfect if we have this thing. What is that? Chanting, hearing. Chanting. Yeah, we that's all correct. But from this concentration point, on the Lord, are all auspicious and full of spiritual potencies? No, that is description of devotional activities. Devotional what, service. Yeah. So what is, when a, a devotee perfect in self-realization has this characteristic, what is that? He worships um, service. Surrender. Always remembers Krishna. Yeah, he all this is true. All this is true, but I want the answer. Love? Worships with exclusively. Yes. Love. Let me see. If the answer is in this uh, in the slide. Excuse me. His only desire is to achieve the association with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Good job, Krishna Chaitanya. Good job. His only desire is to achieve the association with the Supreme Personality of Godhead. He doesn't have any other desire. So we have two examples. Who is Akhatma? That's what that was what I said. I said um uh, to achieve the uh, association. Yeah, it's it's not to achieve. It's not to achieve. It's a, to having only desire. Oh, okay. I said the wrong word in the first. No, you, you said it right, but it was not complete. So if yes. we if you have a desire to achieve the association of the Lord, and if you have the desire, other desires also, then we are not perfect. So the the qualification of a perfect person is that his only desire is to achieve the association of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Who is this here we see? Akarura. Akarura. Who is Akarura? Krishna's uncle. Uh, what, what is he doing here? 
He's, he's looking the, after uh, the footsteps. Uh, he's he's the footsteps. He's, footsteps. He's, he's, he's looking at the footsteps of who? Krishna. 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 So what was Krishna. his job? Not Krishna. Krishna. To bring Krishna and Balaram to come set a fight. Yes, Vishaka. So he came to Vrindavana to bring Krishna and Balaram to uh, Mathura. So as he was coming, he was fully thinking of the Lord. Complete in, in his only desire was to achieve the assistance of the So as soon as he saw the footprints of the Lord, he rolled in ecstasy. He offered such beautiful prayers. That is amazing prayers. So we find that in Krishna book. Then who is this next personality here? Dhruva Maharaj. Dhruva Maharaj. We all know the story of Dhruva Maharaj very, very well. So, and Dhruva Maharaj, when he came to worship the Lord, where did he go to worship the Lord? In the forest. In the forest. In the forest. Okay, what was he doing in the forest? He was doing tapasya. Meditating. Meditating. Okay, he was meditating on the lotus feet of the Lord. And for what did he go to forest and meditate on the lotus feet of the Lord? He wanted a bigger kingdom. We have a bigger kingdom than his father. He wanted a bigger kingdom. Why he wanted a bigger kingdom than his father? Because his stepmother wasn't treating him nicely. Because his stepmother. Yeah, his stepmother was had insulted him, so he wanted a bigger one than his father. Then he meditated, and he was so much seeing the Lord from the heart that even when the Lord appeared, he refused to open his eyes. Wait, Krishna why did, had to um, uh, Krishna had to disappear as uh, Paramatma in his heart. He 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 had to close himself so. Dhruva could open his eyes and then he saw the Lord and he was so small, he couldn't even have words. So the Lord touched him with a conch shell and he started offering prayers. And when he started offering prayers, uh, what did he say at that time? So he said, did he say that I want uh, the kingdom? No. 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 He said that once I have seen you, what else could I want? Very nice, Shaurya. So he said, see, I have seen you and nothing else I wanted. And I wanted a kingdom. I'm ashamed to think that I came to you for the sake of uh, power and uh, for the sake of achieving a kingdom better than my father. And he compares two things, seeing the Lord and having the kingdom to two things. What are the two things? Anybody knows? A diamond and broken pieces of glass. Wonderful, Krishna Chaitanya. Very good. So, which is diamond? Krishna. 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 Krishna is like a diamond. So, if I give you, Krishna Chaitanya, choose. In this hand, I have a diamond. In this hand, I have a broken piece of glass. Not even a good glass. A broken piece of gla glass is the kingdom. Yeah. So, he compares the kingdom to the broken piece of glass compared to the diamond, but still the Lord said, since you asked for it, you came to me for it, I would uh, deliver you the kingdom and after that you would come back to me also. So see how this proves that Dhruva also he came having a desire for his personal satisfaction, but when he started doing devotional service, because these activities are all auspicious and full of spiritual potencies, he, he became so perfect that he did not have any other desire other than to achieve the association of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. So how is it that possible? And it is possible by, by what? The Constant, constant meditation, meditation on the Lord. Constant meditation on the Lord. So what it, uh, what does the turquoise do? It lays the eggs and then it goes into the forest. And what does it do? In the, oh, sorry, it, go, it goes into the ocean waters and he's meditating on the eggs, constantly thinking of the eggs. And while because of that, the eggs hatch. So similarly, a devotee in Krishna consciousness, we are far, far away from the Lord's abode, but we can elevate ourselves to his abode by thinking of him constantly. 
and it is not easy if we have so many material desires then we will be only forced to think of the desires that we have who oh, i have to do this i have to become this then my son has to become this then my grandson has to become this then my great grandson has to become this then my great great grandson has to become this and it goes on endlessly desires for us and desires for everybody else associated with us just But like just like calling ah uh, but if we have the desire only to have the association of the lord then we it's possible to constantly meditate on the lord so for those who are constantly engaged in worshiping him and meditating on his transcendental form krishna says i give i yoga and kshema yoga kshemam vahamyaham yoga means always you be united with the lord so he says a person who performs this bhakti yoga which is so powerful he is always united with me who is this devotee here devamangal thakur devamangal thakur yes devamangal thakur yes very is nice is bhakti vinod thakur no this is bilva mangal thakur bilva mangal thakur was uh, he uh, he came even before lord chaitanya mahaprabhu he was such a nice devotee of the lord and uh, so when he uh, he okay, he at one point of time he was going here and there he had so many desires but then he once his bhakti awoke and he was going to vrindavan again his senses were pulling so what he did he took away his eyes himself he poked his eyes and he became blind and he thought that because these eyes are distracting me from the service of the lord now let me not use this eyes let me not have this eyes so that i can constantly meditate on the lord this is not something for us to imitate on but that shows that how deep desire he had to only meditate on the lord and when he was blind you know how krishna took care of him when he was in vrindavan he used to sing wonderful songs kasturi tilakam lallata patale vakshasthale kaustubam we will have sujata sukasagari mata ji sing that very beautifully she used to sing so when he sings um, that uh the lord comes before him and sits and listens to him what is he singing how nice he is singing how he is united with him see when we perform devotional service when we are chanting the lord is always with us watching us and not only that he is he was blind and he doesn't uh, do any endeavor to go and get a food but the lord always gave him he personally came as a cowherd boy and personally delivered him milk every single day so that's how krishna protected he always in touch with him and he gave him whatever is necessary for him to come back to him then there is another story there was a brahmin in srirangam and during uh, ramanuja acharya's times uh, they all used to i mean when the prasadam they there uh, there's a saying that they had a well for ghee you know it was not possible for to store the ghee in uh, big big containers so they dug a well to store the ghee and they used to take the ghee from the well and cook prasadam fully in ghee and so many vaishnavas will come and they were feeding them like anything so one day one every time one person who comes he uh, sorts of argues with the person who gives prasadam please give me more i want 16 plates because i have 16 children all are crying out of hunger they are diseased because they don't have anything to eat and so i want the 16 plate of prasadam he wouldn't see whether the others have prasadam or not sometimes you know there is less prasadam the others would not get but still he want all the plates and they always say no no you need to wait and let's serve the line but he says no my kids are um, so hungry please understand so there was a big commotion going on so but then they would uh, say that you know you should come and serve in the temple but he says that I, my ho- my whole time goes with my kids they are sick they are hungry and i need to take care of them and i am not able to come and do service so when ramana acharya passed by one time he asked what's happening there 
so then they set this problem and he said do you do any um, verses from vishnu sahasranama can you recite so he he only knew the first two lines vishvam vishnu vashatkaro bhuta bhavya bhavat prabhu bhuta krit bhuta prit means bhuta prit means one who is taking care of all the living entities in this world so ramanuja acharya said okay nice you always chant bhuta brite namaha one who is a maintainer of every living entity call the lord like that and meditate on the lord and worship the lord so when he started doing this suddenly after some time they noticed that he stopped coming to the temple then there was no commotion like this which used to happen so but then the priests all noticed one strange thing that was happening that whatever prasadam they had offered to the lord half of it when they when they went when they go to uh, remove the plates after uh, the lord has eaten they found that half the prasadam was not there so they are wondering who is this some is somebody going into the um, krishna's abode uh, while he is eating prasadam because it's it has to be covered and we are all sitting outside chanting gayatri and meditating on him maybe somebody is sneaking inside and taking the prasadam but then ramanujacharya knew what happened he asked what happened to that devotee is he not coming then they all went and looked for him and he was nowhere to be found near the temple then when ramanujacharya was crossing uh, the river to go to another place this devotee came running he said thank you so much thank you so much maharaj you know what happened since that time you asked me to chant this bhuta brite namaha i have been chanting it constantly and every day a boy comes from the temple and he gives the same prasadam that they distribute to the temple so much so much for me and my kids and twice a twice a day so i don't need to come to the temple so thank you so much for arranging such a person to come and give me the del- deliver me the prasadam from the temple and then ramanujacharya knew what happened he linked the prasadam disappearing from the lord's uh, altar and this boy is telling that the lord the young boy comes and delivers me prasadam from the temple and then he asked did you ask your name his name and uh, that devotee said that yes i asked his name and he said that he is he is a servant of you he is ramanuja dasa so ramanujarya knew how ranganath is so reciprocative you see the brahmin was so much in suffering he didn't have enough money to take care but just when he chanted krishna himself personally came to give him what he want that is shemam so again uh, we will see a very wonderful story how krishna is very very merciful towards his devotees and he protects the devotees from falling down to miserable condition of life so who is the devotee who was doing service to krishna in the rasa of sakya french arjun arjun you know arjun was saved so many times right so this time what happened the war started and eighth day had gone and duryodhana and karna was having a meeting and karna was telling to duryodhana actually you know what i want to help you so much but i am not able to come and fight because bhishma dev is a commander in chief so karna told that unless bhishma dev uh, until bhishma dev is commander in chief i will not take part in the uh, fight so he was telling that so and this bhishma dev he was telling instigating duryodhana that he is fighting on your side but you know what he is having a soft corner for pandavas and he is not using his force on the pandavas and that is why the pandavas are still alive so duryodhan got was biting his teeth and he was telling okay let me go to bhishma dev he came to bhishma dev's tent he offered his obeisances and he said why are you doing this he please you know you have fought celestials and rakshasas and asuras and you are telling me that five pandavas who are men you can't fight with them and you can't kill them 
So Bhishma, they told, I told you, I told you hundreds and thousands of times, Duryodhana. I'm telling you now, and I will tell you until I live. It is not, they are not mere five mortals. They follow, they are men of virtue, means they, they are in following righteousness. And so Dharma protects them and the Lord of Dharma is also with them. So I'm powerless to do anything. No, Duryodhana says, no, you have not used your full power against them. So Bhishma Dev says, do you think like that? That I have not used my full... You see how many casualties uh, I have brought. So many millions of Panda, Pandava soldiers I have killed. Immediately Duryodhana said, yeah, when you can kill millions of Pandava soldiers, what is, why is it that you can't kill the five? That means you have a soft corner for them. If you have a hatred for me, and if you have a soft corner for them and you can't kill them, I request you, you step down. So that my friend Karna will be fighting on behalf of me and he will do the job. So it was like Bhishma Dev felt deeply insulted because, you know, he's known for his vow. He took a vow that he'll remain a brahmacharya. And he said that I don't want to rule this kingdom, but I will make sure that I will always fight for the Kurus. And to me, you're telling like this. So he felt so wounded. And he looked down and he took five golden arrows studded with jewels and they had such sharp um, feathered um, sharp ends. And, and then he said, he, he sharpened each of them and he said, now the I am known to be the man of woes and I vow that with the, these five arrows are for killing the five Pandavas tomorrow. Take it from me. So Duryodhan was so happy, his mission accomplished, and he was still, he was, he was having a doubt. What if this Bhishma Dev forgets to bring the arrows tomorrow morning to the battlefield? Or somebody else would come and steal the arrow from his tent. So he thought, I will take these arrows with me. And not only that, Bhishma Dev not only sharpened the arrows, he put the five arrows in front of him and he chanted mantras and imbued each one of them with so much of power to kill the Pandavas. So Duryodhana didn't want to miss this chance. So he said, I'm going to keep it under my pillow in the bed, near my bed. And tomorrow morning when you come to the battlefield, I will personally hand it over to you. Vishwadev said, okay, and Duryodhan thought, finally, the Pandavas are finished. So he came back to the tent. Now, in the Pandavas, war, what happened after the war, everybody is sitting, and they did good progress till eight days because they did not lose many of their uh, major soldiers, but they killed many of the soldiers from the Kaurava side. So they are thinking that even the Kauravas would be planning so much. So we should be very careful from tomorrow. And Yudhishthira is talking like that. What, uh, um, you know, we don't know what they are up to and we need to be careful. So at that time, uh, Krishna told to Arjuna, uh, Arjuna, do you remember one thing? You know, when you were in the Vanavas, when you were living in the forest and we, we, you were all living beside a lake, Duryodhan came with his whole queens and family members and he wanted to make a show off to you guys who are suffering without your children and you were suffering, you were living like beggars in the forest. He wanted to show off in front of you, flaunt his royal opulence and royal life. So at that time, you remember what happened? Arjuna said, yes, Chitrasena, the Gandharva came. And there was a big fight between Duryodhana and that Gandharva Chitrasena. Chitrasena killed all the Pandava soldiers very easily. And he caught Duryodhana as a hostage. Karna also and Shakuni, Karna and Shakuni fled for their life. None of the soldiers were alive except for few soldiers. And Duryodhana could have, Chitrasena could have killed Duryodhana, but he did not kill, he caught him. That means he completely overpowered him. It was by Chitrasena's mercy that Duryodhana is living. So the Duryodhana soldiers went panting to uh, Yudhishthira, who was on the other side of the lake doing tapasya. And he, they said, please, please, please save our master. 
and Bhima was laughing. Good thing. He deserves it. That's what he gets. I wanted to fulfill my vow, but thanks for the Gandharvas. They did my job. But Yudhishthira said, Bhima, what are you talking? This is not Dharma. We are hundred and we are we are hundred and five brothers. We are five and they are hundred. We are all from the same Vamsha. When an enemy comes, we are not Kurus and they are not Pandavas. We are 105 brothers. So Bhima, it's my order to you to go and save uh, Duryodhana. So because the elder brother's order is there, Bhima and Arjuna both went and Arjuna tried to fight with him and then Chitrasena revealed that I am your friend Arjuna and I did it. I wanted to crush the pride of Duryodhana because I knew with what intention he came here to make fun of you. So uh, then, uh, you know, uh, yeah. So Arjuna said that, uh, yeah, now uh, it's my elder brother's order that you please release him. So Duryodhana got his life as a mercy of Arjuna's uh, magnanimity. So whenever you see the life is saved, a life of a soldier is saved in the battlefield, he gives something uh, in reward. Like when Dasharatha's life was saved by Kaikeyi, uh, King Dasharatha told him, I'll give you two boons. And Kaikeyi said, I will take it when I need it. He did, she did not take it. So similarly, Duryodhana said, because he had to, he had to say that, he said that, Oh Arjuna, I give you a boon, please ask of me. Arjuna laughed and said, I will take it when I when I need it later, not now. But Arjuna was thinking, hope that time will never come that I would want a boon from Duryodhan. And he left and he forgot that incident. But Krishna retold the story and reminded the whole thing to him. You know what? You, re you remember this? Yes, he said, yeah, I remember this. Then, you know, why do you think Krishna was uh, able to remind this uh, incident to Arjuna? How? Can I say? Because he's the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Because, every single because person. he knows the past, present, and future. Okay, he knows the past, present, and future. And one more one more answer. He He's in everyone's hearts. Ah, he's he's in everyone's heart as? Paramatma. 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 So Param, as Paramatma, he revealed that and he said, Arjuna, it's time now. You know what? You remove your armor, you put on white clothes and a yeah, white flag. That means you are not going for fighting. You don't take your armor and bow and you go to Duryodhana's tent now. And you just ask him for five arrows as a boon that he offered you that time. So... Uh, Arjuna said, yes, Krishna, Karishye Vachanam Tava, whatever you say, I follow that. So immediately Arjuna went and the soldiers, when they saw Arjuna coming, after the night time, they start fighting, they stop fighting and sometimes the soldiers, they come to meet each other with friendship. So when the soldiers, uh, when, the, when the gods saw that Arjuna is coming with a white flag and no weapons, they let him inside and they took him to Duryodhana's camp and Duryodhana was about to lie down in the bed and suddenly he seen Arjuna. Are, where did he come from? Why did he come here? So he's telling anyway, oh Partha, nice to see you here. What brought, brings you here? Please sit down. So Arjuna says, I have not come for sitting down. Do you remember the boon? that you gave me when you fought with Chitrasena, when your life was at stake and I told you I will take it later. So Duryodhana is thinking, what is he going to ask from me? Is he going to ask the kingdom without fighting? So he's telling, if you want to take the kingdom without fighting, I will give you. But in, his words are telling, but he's inside, he's hoping he doesn't ask that. But uh, he knows that Arjuna is not a coward to do that. He offers that, but Arjuna says, I don't want the kingdom but I want the five arrows. Huh? Duryodhana is shocked. Five arrows? How come he knew? Because there used to be spies in those days, even in that uh, uh, Mahabharata, if you read, there are spies, they are constantly giving information 
from what what they are planning this side and what they are planning that side so so there are spies from pandava side they go and give and spies from kaurava side they go and give but duryodhan made sure that all the gods go out and only he talks with bhishma dev and even if there was a spy it would take some time for him to carry this information there and then bring these people these people are already in his tent when he just came to the tent and is about to slide down he couldn't do anything he had to give the arrows because it's a matter of honor of kshatriya so he gave the golden arrows and he was devastated and he thought oh this is krishna again krishna maybe you are the supreme personality of god hit i don't know and he just went to in hopelessness you see how krishna protected shemam as paramatma because arjuna was closely intimately related to him as his friend was serving him constantly in friendship krishna protected him from each and every danger that you know he could he also couldn't know and then uh, yeah then he took the five uh, arrows otherwise the war would have been over the next day um hi master ji yeah um, can you explain again like how the five arrows arrows were made and what they were like meant to do i didn't understand it okay bhishma dev had made the five arrows and imbued them with the mantras to kill the pandavas okay because duryodhan was instigating uh, bhishma telling that you are not fighting with your usual self you are being uh, you are betraying me so um so after like um duryodhan uh, after arjuna saved duryodhan um like um okay. so after arjuna saved duryodhan with the chitra sena duryodhan told arjuna that i give you a boon Yeah. Boon yeah. means whatever you ask, I have to give that. That's the boon. Yeah, and then she, and then he went to Krishna, and then Krishna told him to ask for the five arrows, right? He didn't go. Krishna himself said they were they were discussing the war strategies for the next day. At okay. that time, when they were discussing, Krishna said to Arjuna, Arjuna, I want you to do this. Okay. Yeah. No second word. Arjuna did it, and when Bhishma Dev was. imbuing these arrows with mantras and going to kill bhishma dev was thinking let me see what the lord is going to do now to protect the pandavas because he knew that the lord will somehow or other protect the pandavas thank you ma'am thank you siddharth okay so let's go back to the verse i think we are already time up right mata ji those who have not recited the verse so far do you want to recite mother ji mother ji mother ji can i mother ji can i mother ji can i ah since we don't have much time we are already out of time i am going to take only two people um anirudh mother ji can i do okay shri can i do shri nidhi Uh, okay, Mother Ji. Ananya chinta yanto ma yeja na paryu pasite desha mitya biyukta na yoga kshemam vaham yaham. Very good, Aditya. Do you want to chant? Mother Ji, can I chant? Okay, Anirudh. Ananya chinta yanto ma yeja na paryu pasite. राधिका Mata ji, what to do? Should we ask them to recite, or can we go for kahoot? We can start the kahoot. Yeah. Mata ji didn't have to be asked twice. Hehe. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna go kahoot. Hmm. 
Ready? Let's see what Kahoot can. Mataji, you're not coming on video. No, Mataji, I'm not just supposed to come on video. Okay, okay. No worries, no worries. Mataji, pretty last month. I bet you're going to win again today. Oh, yes. Come on, Preeti, we laughed and win. <laughs> 7353425 Kahoot You just We're saying the answers Don't show us this slide Mataji Oh really Ah what did I do? Ah, yeah, there we go. Yep, better. Well, thank you, Mataji. You helped us on one of the questions. <laughs> thank you for the help. <laughs> Don't. There's two. There's two pre. There's two Preeti Vilas in this. Oh, there's Sita Preeti also on the call. Yeah, and there's um. Yes, Mataji. 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 Yes, Yes, Mataji. 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 Yes, who is the real one? Start and there's it. a quarantine kid as well. <laughs> what? What? Did this okay, kid so have we have 20 players. We are going to start now. Oh, it is not me. In somebody is Sita Preeti. <laughs> no. Somebody has found you. Satatam Kirta Yanto Maam Yatam Saska Drida Vratha. This is the previous verse. Finish it off. What? <laughs> what? What? Where is my Bhagavad How do we remember that? Wait, I, I, what, 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 what? Satatam Kirta Yanto Maam. Oh, not bad. Oh, really? Some people picked the first one? That's so hilarious. Really? Shunya Prabhu has took a They picked the longest one. Oh, okay. We oh. have Aditya Rajiv on top, Krishna Chanta, Radharani Ki Jai, Varun the Carrot, and the Spirit Soul. Very nice. Second question. There are dash processes in the Kushan Service. Oh, obviously. 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 One. Obviously four. Yeah, one. it's obviously just one. one. No, it's obviously four. There's only one process, and that's the final service. One. It's producing. It's producing. Really? Someone Behind the quarantine kid. <laughs> we actually picked one. Who clicked one? Who's the person that clicked one? Yay, Priti Valasani has climbed up. Spirit Soul Yay. has climbed up. Varunda Karat has climbed up. Krishna Shanta and Aditya Rajiv continue. Yes. The only desire, the only desire of a devotee is to attain. Oh, I accidentally clicked oh demon head. Oh, oh, click oh. the red one. I clicked the red. Go for the blue one. Go for the blue one. Demon head one. No. Of course. Just click the one. Wow. Wow, this is the best question. Wow, I think the blue one. I think that's the biggest desire we all have. <laughs> that's so. Oh my God, this, G, why you gotta be like that? Oh, see, why oh my God, eleven like people. Really? Look at that. Eleven people shows demon head. You <laughs> <laughs> didn't see that, mother. You tricked us. You tricked us. Oh, that was so funny. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Maybe Aditya K has yeah. risen up. Uh, we have Radharani Ki Jai who has climbed up. Quarantine Kid has really climbed up. And then Krishna Chanta and Aditya Rajiv, they continue. Mataji, you don't deserve you don't deserve to be on the podium after what happened. <laughs> 
Start meditates on its eggs while fire. in water, obviously. Not in fire. <laughs> no, it's in water. It's in water. Fire. Well, Who's fine, fire. Air, air, fire. air. Fire. The turtle's an airbender. Fire, air. Uh, air. Fire, air. <laughs> what? <laughs> Four people got it wrong. This. Oh, dun, 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 dun. I thought it was fire. land. There are, two in it, there, there are too many pe innocent people on this call. I know. Yes, there are. Yeah, yes. So we have Aditya Raji on top, and then Aditya Kasturi, maybe. And then Radha Rani Kijai, Quarantine Kid, and Krishna Chinsa. Very nice. Oh, God. Shema, Shema indi indicates what, exactly? Yoga, Chemam. Ooh, masculine nature. <laughs> yes, <laughs> definitely. That's the muscles, what we spent all class was quite Someone tried none of the above. One of them actually picked none of above. Wow. Aditya Rajiv, maybe Aditya Oh, scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. Let's scroll down. Oh, okay. Hey, it's me. Oh, awesome, places. awesome. Up five, pla five places, Sid is the highest climber. Excellent, very nice. There's people that, that have gone up like 20 places, you know. He's strengthened with the power of... High golden arrows, strengthened by the power of the... Oh, Mati didn't say this. Okay, but you can just try. Celibacy? Mm -hmm. Or caliber, caliber, caliber. Okay, this is just... What? Yeah, okay. Wait, All right. what? Yeah, most of you got it right. Not bad. Huh? Got it. Got it. Not what bad. does celibacy mean, though? Let's just say hi. It's like, um, drama hi, 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 you know who this is. You know who this is. Yes. Okay, Preeti Vilasan has climbed up. I'm going to eat you, Karen. Climbed up. And Preeti. Preeti answers. Or I'm coming. Okay. Next. Hello. Ananya. I don't know. Yeah, it's, it's a girl. Having <laughs> lots of fun. <laughs> well, that's having having, having lots, of fun. lots of fun. Lots and lots, lots of fun. Of fun. Yay, we're having so much fun playing Kahoot. Woo. <laughs> having. <laughs> having. <laughs> no yeah, not if you're losing, yet. though. Not if you're losing. Having lots of, lots, lots of fun. Lots of fun. Sita Preeti. Who's Sita Preeti? Sita Preeti has climbed up? They're in 13th place. Mataji, I'm confused. Uh, I got it wrong, but I went up a space. I want to put the <laughs> third small. I'm confused. <laughs> Legit, I'm not lying. It was 13 to 12. You're hacking. <laughs> it's because of your speed. <laughs> I click no, it off very fast. Yeah. I click it off very fast. It does not make a difference if you get it wrong. I'm mm behind -hmm. left hand, Mataji. Multi select. Look at the question, it's multi select. The verse you are learning today was spoken by. Oh, oh no. Arjun. Um, um. Uh, I think. I'm oh, Guda Kesha is another name of Krishna. Are you kidding me? Or is it? I don't know. No, it's Arjuna. Ar Gurakesha is Arjuna. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just guessing. Oh, yeah, I got it right. Not bad, you guys. Very nice. Say, you're in 11th place. Yes. Very nice. Oh, I'm in 15th place. Can Krishna V please kick it down a notch? Because I'm having trouble. You don't ask people to kick it down a notch. You are false. That's not how this works. Krishna <laughs> doesn't carry what you lack. Well, that's, that's no, true. That's <laughs> true. The answer is true. Oh, well, that's right. That's all that's right. That's true, guys. Yeah, Krishna does not carry what you lack. I know. Oh, exactly. I'm like, wow, people too. I got it right and I moved. Like, I moved down a place. I'm third place. Congratulations, Mataji. Huh? Awesome. 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 I got it right, and I'm in 13th place. How? Hello? He carries what they lack and preserves what they have. He and they denote respectively home. What? What? Mm, I think. I am such a Krishna is mom. They. It says they. 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 
Anirudh is making a comeback with three in a row. Wow. <clears throat> nice. <clears throat> you know, there are people that have 11 in a row, right? The heading of this after this. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I found it. The most important knowledge. No, actually, it's the most important knowledge. It's the most important knowledge. The most envious knowledge. It's the most important knowledge. Knowledge of the absolute knowledge. Think about it. 14th place. 12th place. Stay in the wrong place. Kick it up a notch. Good job. Priti Vilasan is back. Yeah. So Priti Vilasan yeah, is catching up with Priti Vilasan. That's me. I'm Priti Vilasan. Who's that? Sharia. Sharia. <laughs> I change my name every time. <laughs> I change it every time. Like every single time. <laughs> Chapter 9 is classified under the restriction sure. yoga. Oh, what well, no. Chapter yeah. 9 of Pakistan. Jnana Yoga, Bhakti Yoga, uh, Jnana Yoga, Hatha Yoga. What is Hatha Yoga? <laughs> Hatha Yoga, what? <laughs> Hello? That's not the Jnana Yoga. Oh, I got it. Yes! Yes! Oh, I got it. You yeah, I got it. The fake pretty people please the fourteen it down <laughs> Please? Prahlad is back with an answer streak of three. Very nice. Prahlad, I'm coming for you. Oh, wow. That's too bad. Prahlad is too good. Prahlad is awesome. and Srirangam was instructed by Lakshman Charya, Oh. oh, you got it, right? Sid, I'm coming for you! Mm -hmm. you're we'll see about that. You're in 10th place. Man, yeah, I know. Sid, you're in 10th place. I'm coming I know, for you. I know, you're not the climber. climber. <laughs> Yay, I'm the highest climber. Atura went from? Your mom. Answer carefully. Atura to Vrindavan, Vrindavan to Matara, Vrindavan to Dwarka. It's Dwarka to Dwarka. You went from Dwarka <laughs> to Dwarka. Oh, not bad. All of you did well. Wait, Sid, Sid, what place are you in now? Trini, they just hit answer straight three. Sid, what place are you in now? Nine. Oh. Dhruva's stepmother had robbed him and sent him. Him. Robbed yes. him. Robbed him. Definitely <laughs> robbed him. Robbed him. Robbed him. robbed him of his rights. Oh, really? Everyone got it right? Oh, God. <laughs> See? <laughs> they robbed him of his rights. That's true. Mm. Maybe logic. Yeah. <laughs> that, that is true. Oh. That is logic. Maybe Aditya is the highest oh. chance. Whoa. What do you mean, maybe? It's either he does or he doesn't. <laughs> Krishna is like Dash and his kingdom is like that. And his kingdom is like that. Diamonds and his kingdom is like that. It's either blue oh. or it's yellow. yellow. It's, it's yellow. It's yellow. It, we yeah. have to say it's yeah, yellow. It's yellow. Yeah, it's yellow. To that, one person, so yellow. That, to that one person that clicked yellow. <laughs> <laughs> to the one person that clicked yellow. What? <laughs> Krishna is back with an answer streak of three. Wonderful. I have an answer mm -hmm. streak of eight. Ha ha. I have an answer streak of Krishna. Krishna used to sit and oh, listen to Sri Mangal Thakur and bring him milk, bring him cows, give him idlis, give his flute. Give him some idlis. Idli. Give him some idlis. We love idlis. No, I love milk. Idlis. Oh, yeah. Cows. Yeah. Oh, someone Italy, really said Italy, 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 Italy,
<laughs> yeah, that is true. Back into the place. You can click oh, like if, if it's shit. lagging. If it's lagging, oh, like, like a million seconds. Sorry. Yeah, Malvi, select. Mishma said it was hard to kill the pandavas because he had a because I was on the other side, which is time and day. He had a soft corner for them. That's true. He had a soft. He had soft vertices. He had soft. They were just fine. He had soft vertices. He was a foam shape. It was a phone oh, shape. Yeah. He had soft ah, vertices. Okay. Okay. Totally. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Awesome. But he did have a soft corner for them. Higher. Mm -hmm. 19. Uh, very nice. Trit soul. Oh, yeah. This guy. Last um, question. Yudhishthir said we are dash double. Blank and blank. blank. This is the, this is the answer Mataji. This is the question Mataji gave us at the beginning. Yeah, yeah. It's one hundred plus five minus Karna. Mm -hmm. No, it's one hundred plus five minus you, this chair. It's you. This, it's no, it's one hundred one. Yeah, one hundred one plus five, guys. Plus ten. Eight, Eight, Say what place are you in? Okay, one hundred five minus. Someone really overthought about Karna. <laughs> Sid, yes. Wait, Sid, did you go back a place? Oh god. Okay, let's see the podium. Spirit's all awesome. Maybe Aditya K okay, maybe awesome. And uh, that that's me. That is me. Yay! Yeah. Yeah. And who are the runners up? Priti will ask me and Krishna. Awesome Krishna. Very nice. Good job, Mataji. Good job, Mataji. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to be on the podium. Good. Job, what yeah, place well, were you in? Uh, what place were you in when you Because I'm a savage. Yeah, Your eighth place? And the only desire of a devotee is to attain. Oh, yeah. Demonhood. Most of you chose demonhood, right? Demonhood. I was the bad to do the one, but like, no. To attain the spiritual personality. Yeah, like we only saw that part. We just clicked the answer. Demonhood. Demonhood. Yeah. Okay. Sure. So I was Can we play again? Okay, which one do you want to play? Can we play again? Yes. Another game. A different one, not this one. Play a different one. Play a different one. Go in the groups one. Go in the groups. Go in the groups? Okay. Yeah, go in the groups. No, no, no. It's fun. Go in that would be fun, right? Because you play Yeah, nobody knows the answer, so we can fail together. Okay. Instead of this one person getting Wait, is Govinda like higher than um Madhava? No, no, no but they are lower. I have a Govinda child right here, so I'm good. I have a Govinda <laughs> child. Gilasya! <right here. laughs> Gilasya, chat me the answers. No, she, she's only helping me. She's only no, helping me. no, no, no. She likes me better than Mudu. Okay, so let's see what all we have played. Knowledge awaits, Mataji. Quiz of the COVID-19 one. What? COVID-19. COVID-19. Oh, buddy. Janmashtami is gone option on that. Okay. Balramji quiz. Mother, you download the kids. Download the kids. Can we do the next one? Friday fun quiz. Friday fun quiz. The Friday fun quiz. It's not exist. No, there's one question. Mataji, Mataji, Mataji. There's a one question quiz. There's a one question quiz called Does God Exist? Can but we that do that? Right? There's a one question quiz. Jadabharth quiz, Mataji. Do the Jadabharth quiz. No, there's a one. No, can we do the first? Can we first do like the uh, Does God Exist one question quiz? It's like literally above Fun Friday quiz. Does Does God Exist? Does God exist? One question. One question. One question. One question. Okay, I don't even know if the answers are there. What is the R comedy? <laughs> it even showed up the answer. It is an answer. What? Can we play? Can we play? Can we play? Can we play? Madhuji, let's do the go in the group one from. Uh, yeah, let's, yeah, do yeah, let's do that one. Jerabarat one. Go in the. Look, let's do Damodar because you guys, none of you have some Damodar. We have a Damodar KD. Govinda are higher than Govinda. Gracias. You're on my team, right? 
Are you on my team? Yeah. He saw the eye of the bird. She's asking if you're on. The bird. The bird. Come on, hands on the numbers. <laughs> Let's see who does it first. Let's go. Uh, see you later. Oh my god, I guessed it. Four zero five nine eight. Let's go in first place. Yeah, I won. We did it. Good job. You did it. Not we. Yes, I did it. You did it. Maddie. Why well, you say we did it? What? I joined. Okay, yeah. Chant and be happy. Yes, please. Chant and be happy. Or grind Kahoot and be happy. <laughs> what? Yeah, grind Kahoot and be happy. No, everybody should just like uh sharpen their Kahoot skills. Wow, okay. Reggae! Reggae! We can't hear it. That's the cut eat music for you. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun 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 Oh Halloween no no It's creepy we're gonna lose this Okay I will be creepy if you can't even hear the music Let's do this Some other kids camp three Oh pretty velocity what did I just I don't know, what did he see? see? Asked him to shoot. What did he see? Um, the bird. His teacher. His teacher. He's looking behind. His teacher. Hi there. I look at you. <laughs> at it right. I'm on the podium. Oh, Let's um, go. I'm not on the podium. Psych, I am. You just see the pretty David Dusty. David Dusty. Which mantra did Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu? What mantra? Hare Krishna Mahamantra. You were learning about the foreign back then. You see? How am I in fifth place? Oh. 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 Oh, no, it, it, it's a trick question. It's nothing. He doesn't accept nothing. He doesn't accept me. He accepts everything, but he doesn't accept nothing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, oh, Sita Preeti, I'm coming for you. What? <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Um, no, I don't Pizza. 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 He got pizza. That's obvious. Oh, Everyone got pizza. Oh. 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 And we have... Um, just... Still up. Mine is up to the version 5. It's Christmas. Everybody knows that. Yes. Uh, you know, that's Maybe it was holy because of the colored it blood. It's a question. It's Hanukkah. It's <laughs> a question. It's <laughs> wrong. <laughs> The valley. Wow. Pretty velocity. Pretty velocity. Mother's coming for me. Mine is still up to the correct thing. I'm coming for you, Sid. I'm in third place. I'm coming for you. Okay, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Oyster. Oh, I'm second person to answer. I was first. Oyster. I was pressing on an oyster. I'm <laughs> Oh, what? Uh, I, I got it right, and I was second person, and I... What? How? How is this okay. possible, man? How is this possible? One. 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 Uh, one. One day one and one One day and one night. One day and one night. You didn't have that much power. You didn't have that much power, okay? You didn't lift it for 100 days and 100 nights. That's impossible. 
Nothing is impossible for the Lord. No, it's seven Brahma days and seven Brahma days. I'm second place. Seven Brahma days and seven Brahma days. Okay, that's, that's, just, that's a bit too much. That's a bit too much. Like, literally, everybody would just be dead seven years. Where's the Lord of the Rings? Lanka. No, it's New York. Robot Woody. established it. New York. New York. It's Woody. Yeah, yeah, right. I, I was the one that took New Delhi. Okay, yeah. I was the one. Admit. I took New Delhi. But Ram always carries the... These are, these are, these are good. I like this. I like this thing. It's a flute. It's a flute. It's right there. James a flute for Krishna. Question. He's actually holding a flute. The genius behind his back. He's holding food behind his back. Oh, he carries a flute. Oh, he carries it now. Wow. Yeah. We should have faith on. Faith on. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Peppa Pig. Elsa. 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 Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> we should play this every day. <laughs> In a cave. Yes. No, the ocean of milk. No, tree. tree. <laughs> what is celebrated as Jen Mashton? Your birthday. Your birthday. Your birthday. <laughs> Your birthday. <laughs> Mama, the was last Saturday. This Saturday. Wait, last Saturday? This Saturday? No, last Mama, Saturday. You, guys, did you guys realize 12 people got it right? I'm, I'm on streak number 12. It's the 12th question. Da -da -da -da. I'm, on, I'm on streak number 12. and the 12th question. Okay, hi, he you. did it. USA. Um, cargo ship. A car. I just clicked some ring. I just clicked something random. I clicked car. <laughs> okay, okay. You you can't drive cars across the sea. I know that, but I didn't know. It's made out of paper, guys. Yes, that's true. No, it's made out. It's made, of paper. made out of paper. How many people said stone? What? Three. What? I'm it's no. Nobody has metal. Okay, I'm just sad now. I'm, I'm in tenth place. I was in third place, and now I'm just in tenth place. I'm what? still in second place. Which of these is not an RT paraphernalia? Um. Hello. This is kind of obvious, but not obvious at the same time. It's a lamp. It's no. a lamp. You can't. It's a, it's a trick question. question. Yeah, boy. Yes. Oh yeah. my God. I need to go to the podium now. I'm up there. Mom, I'm gonna do because it's there. So I'm gonna buy my Raj's hand on his chest, man. On his chest. What are you no, saying? That's what Nelson was there. Oh my god. I'm behind Krishna. I can't fight with Krishna. I cannot fight with Krishna. I can't fight with Sid. What if he actually did? What did Lord Krishna steal from? Okay, now you guys have pizza. Pizza! Pizza, pizza! I'm insane. I'm actually insane. Wait, did you lose your answer streak? Which is not one of our five sense organs. Is this our it's your eyes, guys? Your eyes. eyes. We need our eyes. Eyes. I don't know. What is this? Oh, God. Yawn. Who's tired? I am. Who's me? Who's I am? Sharia. Huh? Sharia. Okay. Green. What commonly known as creepy looks? <laughs> can we eat grain for? Yes, we can. Yes, Who says can. no? Who says no? Who dares says no? Exactly. Funny. Time is fun. 
What does Ekchakra mean? Isn't it obvious? Don't. <laughs> it's four wheels. It's a trick question. It's one <laughs> wheel. What? <laughs> I am the winner. I am the winner. I'm saying, Radha Rani ki jai ho. Go. Kita Priti Devi Dasi. Yay! You are officially a member of the Dhamma the group. Congratulations. Good. Go for gold. Can we go for gold? Go for gold means? I don't know. It says go for gold. 19,028 points. Where am I? Beat that. I was 100% well. I was pretty velocity. I was 8. Good job, bro. You thought you could beat me? You got dumped on. You thought. What do you mean you thought? I, I just won. Fight me. Okay, I will. Where's your address? <laughs> it's in Dallas. Can you come here? Sure, I'll just take my private jet. <laughs> okay, so we land here and we'll meet again next week. Can we play another one? Yes, yes. Hare Krishna Mataji. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mataji. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mataji. Can we play Hare Krishna? Mataji, Mataji play if you wanted one? to do uh, a kids, like if you wanted to do like um, a, I, what, uh, what are those called? Like where like the kids present? How would you have to do that? You have to. Who's this? Who's asking this? Sharia. Sharia. Yeah, you need to text Anjana Gopika Mataji. Do you have her number? No. Okay. Do one thing. Just uh, just put a message on the Madhava uh, group. Okay. On the and we'll, I'll ask her to write to you. Okay. Thank you. Radhika, you want to play one more? Yes, yes. Okay. okay, we'll play a very small one and then we'll all go to bed, okay? I'm not sleepy though. Okay, we'll go and eat something, okay? <laughs> I already ate my dinner. Okay. I mean, I could do it with ice cream. We will go eat ice cream. How do I go to home? How do I go home? Just click next. Click next yeah, and then play new game. No, we won't argue. Home. Something that has just 10 questions. Okay, but let's get the next question. Oh my god, someone did 50 questions. Oh god. One question Does God exist? Let's play that one. No. Madhavakita 9.10 has 10 questions. 11, 11, 9.11. This is something that Madhava kids didn't do. Balramji quiz. Madhava kids have not done, right? I think we have. No, we have. I don't think Madhava kids have done. No, we haven't. We have not. We have not. We have. We have. No, we haven't. Oh, yeah, you guys. Everyone, Radhika Mataji. 
Can we do uh, Bhagavad Gita 9.11? Oh, I don't know. Oh, questions. Oh, my God. Matati, can you hear me? Yes, dear. Okay. Oh, I think you guys know this. Do you really want to? Okay, fine. Nine point eleven is what you wanted, right? Let me open that. No, can we do Bhakti Sangha uh, Sangha Japa uh, Camp Quiz One, like the one that you were just on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, it's gonna be an easy game because there are only gonna be four people. Yeah, and then we stop after that. Yeah. It's time. What do I say? Oh my god. No, 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 I'm I'm not in. No, I'm not to be wrong. Oh my god. Who is Dupala's daughter? I don't know. Dupali is Dupali. Yeah, I want to party in them. <laughs> it's Drupadi. Who sent one of us to the Lock Palace? Drona. Oh, wait, what does Lack mean? Lock shot her. I'm gonna be like. What is Bhishma? Bhishma. Bhishma. What is magnanimous? What does magnanimous mean, Mother? I already answered, you know. I don't know what it is. I don't know what magnanimous means. Oh, yeah. I got correct. I don't know what I could do. Oh, what? I didn't give you what? You didn't give me enough time to write the full name, so I just wrote. I don't know what I gotta write. I don't know what I'm pretty. I'm still in fourth place. Oh my god, I'm so Arush, Arush has climbed up. I am on the podium. <laughs> One question I'm on the po and I'm on the podium. Let's go. Multi select. What is on this? Um, I was gonna pop I'm gonna go down. I'm gonna, I just missed all of them. No, no, I'm still on, I'm still first. I can't believe it. We are gonna get down. Dash is the greatest one. What does build up the mean? Wait, it's, it hasn't loaded yet. Mm. Well, what is mm. bewilderment? Oh, oh. This is only bewilderment. Why am I always <laughs> happening to you? <laughs> Oops. What must we do when one is confused? Chant the name of the Lord. Oh, no. Screen is loading. Who's a wise counselor such as Krishna? Well, what yeah. Let's see, Varun the Karot. Karot. Arush, who's on? Yeah, and I'm 
I don't know, because the stream hasn't loaded yet. It keeps loading for so much time. Hopefully. Oh, overlooking nope. faults. For overlooking faults and forgiveness. Oh, yes, I got it right. Oh, my God. Who's that? Overtook him. Uh-huh. Oh, I know that. Why is it on YouTube? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Cabin. I got fourth place. No. Auto. Be, 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 be. Hey! Oh, yeah, and rather than the other one. Very good. Awesome. I thought I was going to make it onto the other one. Hare Krishna, 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 We'll do it next week for sure. Okay, we'll make okay, it more fun. Okay, Hare Krishna Mataji. Yeah, Bye. Do I need to go on that last 